Mr. Hall? How are you doing, sir? I could have tipped over dead. That's what would have happened. If it would have burst, why, I would have probably been dead. Take a small breath and hold. He said it was your we're a ticking bomb, you know. It was it could rupture at any time. What I would like to do now is to show you the CT scan. An aneurysm is a weakening, a dilatation of the artery. They are a major life-threatening event with a very high risk of death. Actually, in fact, 90% of the patients end up passing away. These are illustrations of Mr. Hall's aneurysm. And what we are seeing is the aorta and a series of arteries. This is the artery to the liver, intestine, right kidney, which is here, left kidney. They can be repaired. The, traditionally, the aneurysm is being repaired by open surgery. And techniques that we do open surgery have been around since the 1950s, basically. Nowadays, they can also be treated by means of stents. The stents are done with little punctures in the groin and working inside the artery. But most of the stents that we have available right now, they are for simpler aneurysms, not the aneurysms that involve the arteries to the kidney, intestine, and liver. We would have had to have waited uh, two, two months, I think they said, to get the other type of stent that they'd been using. Well, he said, I couldn't wait that long. I just knew we couldn't wait, so we had to. It, we just had to put our faith in him and, and go ahead and do it, so. Two days, really, and it was, I was in there to be operated on. So these stents that are not commercially available, they have to be used under specific research studies. So we uh, develop a relationship with uh, radiology and a 3D print lab that is available here at Mayo. And we are able to print actually the aorta of the patient that is to be treated. This 3D print brings the reality of the patient anatomy. We actually have to do all the steps of the operation as they are and it anticipates difficulties, challenges, sometimes it helps answer questions. Connect this to a pump of fluid that has normal temperature that we have, about you know, 35 to 36 degrees Celsius, and blood pressure, pulsatility. recipe, so to speak, of how to create a stent that is off the shelf that would fit most of the patients. And this is the picture now after the aneurysm was treated. And this is actually many pieces. This is not one stent. It's modules that we put together. So first there is one stent in the aorta, a long one that has docking sides. There is a stent inside the vessel, and that stent has side arms to the liver, intestine, and to both kidneys. And then working inside the vessels with x-ray and wires and catheters, we're able to place this stent uh, in that location. I mean, this is an operation that he spent one night in the intensive care unit and three days in the hospital. So uh, that would be almost, I mean, unheard with an open surgery. I just think it's absolutely, it's just unbelievable for him to be doing as well as he's done. It's, I'm just so thankful. <laughs>